Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, it's 11 hours and 22 minutes into the 30th day of December 2021, and we have a package opening here. So let's get to it. I have a pretty sure, I, a pretty good idea of what it is. It is I did order a um, a vacuum cleaner, a handheld vacuum cleaner. So let's see what this actually is. And, go from there. Okay, no particular box or anything. Let's get this, uh, so this is it here, no box. Uh, sometimes it doesn't come without, it doesn't come with a box, but that's alright, that's uh, not a particular issue for me. As long as, okay, here we got our, we have our hose, that's for the vacuum, so it is, this is indeed the vacuum. It's been a nice handy little bag to it, so, yay for that. It's got the attachment uh, to the, this is the attachment to the uh, actual uh, machine itself. Here it is here, this is charges via USB very nice very nice and it's a uh, lithium ion so it's it's cordless let's see if it has any function to it right now it's taped off so Which is taped off and I'm trying to get the tape off of here. I think we've done that. Tape is gone. It works. There we go. It works. So, anyways, uh, that's it for that. That's uh, the beginnings of our new oh, oh, vacuum cleaner. So, I will see you. And I see you. <laughs> Akathema University. Go beyond standard knowledge. Well, at uh, 3.16 in the morning, you know, three hours and six minutes into the uh, 31st day of December, it's going to be New Year's Eve uh, in a couple hours. Uh, as typical, I'm not going anywhere. I don't really do much of anything on New Year's Eve. It's just another day. <laughs> Uh, but then again, I do like uh, my uh, YouTube stroll. I do like uh, uh, watching my cartoons. That's my uh, go-to thing. That's uh, sort of my stability, if you will. Uh, otherwise, everything else is about, based on risk. I didn't have anything for anything uh, to say earlier, but I do have to have now. I was sort of mulling things over and reading through. Uh... Some of the uh, comments, not on my things, but on, on Twitter and so on and so forth, and looking at what's going out there, going on out there in terms of people's opinions and ideas. And as I said before, we talk about uh, various different types of conspiracy theorists. There's conspiracy theorists, typically on the right, that's what people know as conspiracy theorists. And then there's conspiracy theorists on the left. Uh, and sometimes there's, there's often an inconvenient truth, there's always... The best history to look for is the unofficial history. Official history is often digitized. It's often digitally enhanced or uh, digitally remastered. I mean, in other words, it's falsified. It's there to present the best image of whatever they're trying to portray as the history. That's what they're doing. So it is a gloss over. It is not the nitty-gritty details. 
to get to the nitty gritty details, you have to look beneath the official. You have to lift the rugs up to see where the dirt is. And a lot of times it's in these various different bits and pieces. Like, you want to study the history of Spain, you want to study the history of slavery, you don't go to the official history books, you don't go to historian, you don't go to the universities. What do you do? You pick up the rug, and who do you look at? You look at the pirate, the history of piracy. This is where I ran into Christopher Columbus. Not in the official histories, in terms of what he was actually doing. I ran into it, studying the history of pirates. So the begin and then, to realize this, that Christopher Columbus has nothing to do with North American Indians, the indigenous people that they're talking about. Uh, so, oh, it's, you know, it's offensive, Thanksgiving is offensive to indigenous people. Well, why? Because they stole America. Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> this is the whole problem. Is that, first of all, he didn't land in North America. He landed in the, he landed in the Caribbean. Uh, the Spanish domain that, 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 that Christopher Columbus came in on uh, was basically the uh, the Caribbean islands, and everything else came, the, the sort of the takeover, if you will, but it wasn't necessarily a takeover, uh, was done partially by the Spanish. It was done under the Spanish crown, but primarily the, the, the sailors who came over, the ships that came over, uh, were, at that time, they, they, they were the Spanish pirates. Uh, and you go through the history of, of the naval history of uh, Portugal, and you'll run into the, the Spanish pirates basically from 1300 A.D. Uh, forward to about, I think, about 17, 1700, 1700s. This is where you had a lot of Portu your, 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 a lot of the so-called Spanish Navy were Portuguese. This is uh, this is why you have uh, Brazil being being um, uh, not speaking proper Spanish, but actually speaking Portuguese. See, the Portuguese aren't actually your aren't actually Europeans. They're a mixture of a lot of different, you know, uh, they're North Africans, they're Middle Easterners, there's a, there's a number of different groups that are mixed in there. You have to go back into the history of piracy. You have to go back into the history of piracy, including that of North Africa, where you begin to understand, okay, this is how history evolved. And again, it's these nitty-gritty details. So this is sort of, as I'm setting up my notebook, i sort of running into some of these details and talk to my dad about, you know, this one of the priests in, in our church we gave a, uh, a lecture on papal primacy. But it kind of completely missed the whole point. He's an academic. A lot of people are an, uh, who give out these lectures are academics. And they go to official channels that they can sort of, you know, footnote and stuff like that. A large chunk of the unofficial channels you cannot footnote, you cannot give a source to because they're either hidden and you don't want the source to disappear or they're not conveniently available. In other words, not they're not necessarily checkable unless you have an understanding on how to do research. So the proof, the, 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 the citation is useless. I mean, I didn't necessarily understand this until uh, I ran into a, a, a sort of a, spent a year long uh, uh, sort of jaunt through uh, rabbinical lectures on the history of forgery. The, the number of documents were, that were forged in history are unbelievable. So what happens is that you begin to understand that the, that the official documents, your citations, okay, you can cite it, but how do you know that citation is in a forgery? Is it actually something that's real? Just because it's been officially believed or officially sanctioned doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. And so this work comes up into a lot of problems, so this is where things sort of swing back and forth. You have uh, the conspiracy theorists on the right talking about the Wuhan lab, and oh, you see, this is a China virus, this is the, the Kung flu, and so on and so forth. You read all this stuff about this, and until you go in, and you find out uh, what the who, who the lab was in uh, Wuhan, China. Yeah, there is a lab there, but it's not Chinese. It's an American lab, but owned by Galax, Galaxo Klein Smith. And what do you run into? You run into funding uh, from NIH from Fauci. So this now swings back to the whole, the person who's guiding all this stuff. Fauci is the one who's setting all the guidelines. 
and you begin to see that now a drug company is directly involved in the lab that was supposedly this Chinese, oh, this is the Chinese stuff, this is what China is doing to us. Well, no, it's not, because it was an American lab. It was owned by Galactic Klein Smith. But again, this is not something that's going to be publicized. They're not going to offer this information. What they're going to do is it's there. You have to go look for it. But at the same time, it's not going to be easy to cite because a lot of times it's in these hidden documents. It's who connects to who. You're looking at contracts. Who was involved in what contract and when. Uh, and these are what called the minute details that a lot of people often miss. But in, the, in, in terms of research, this is how the, how it works. You you, you want to go off track. You want to go off book. And this leads you to, uh, well, being wide awake and wired in many cases at, 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 uh, at around 3.30 in the morning. So <laughs> this is kind of it, kind of what it is. And as I'm watching sort of Carly Reese and... Uh, I, I, I was at I was at uh, Leroy's and Kesley Jade earlier uh, before this. It just my my day has been been kind of off. It's not been a we'll call it a regular or typical day. It's been sort of uh, a, a meandering day. Sometimes I had a little bit off. Sometimes I've been uh, in the other realm in terms of what I've been sort of thinking about. And a large chunk of these ideas are just sort of wash around in the mind and. Then I come back to sort of realize, well, if you're going out and doing exploration and you're going to areas unknown, you're going to have a lot of uncertainties, you're going to have a lot of anxieties, and as I said, the the feelings never really go away. You have, it's just a matter of that because you've dealt with some of these feelings before, you have some idea of how to deal with them now, even though the stress isn't over yet. (laughs) It's not... It's not past the stress point. So, what do you do? You sort of find a way to have something that's standard in your life, like my YouTube stroll, the cartoons, and you use that as your baseline. To throw, you, this is what you always go back to. As soon as you feel unnerved and you feel unsafe, this is your safe place. You go back to that, you rest up a little bit until you feel good enough again to go out and start uh, pushing your way forward out to the edge. And this is kind of one. Of, this is how I exist, and this is why I'm doing so much of the vlogs back here. But this is where I come back and do my my um, my standard, my base. This is my comfort zone. This is where uh, my safe place that I come back to when I need to take a break from being on the edge all the time. Anyways, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna leave that till for now and. I will see you at the next transition, uh, whenever that's going to be, and see you then. Akatima University, go beyond standard knowledge. Well, it is uh, actually New Year's Eve. And we're just getting started. Uh, had a little, my vacation days are sleeping longer, that's all it is. Uh... It is 20 hours and 52 minutes into the 31st day of December, 2021. Our editing is doing, going pretty well. I'm able to ma- maintain a good pace for editing. So we're up to where we need to be. Uh, last night's dream, well, not lately, this few, few minutes ago, uh, you know, for most of the day. Uh, the dreams are quite interesting. Uh... I've, I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm being other people again. And I said, not other, uh, not another person, but other people. In some of the dreams, I can actually be more than one person at the same time. Uh, it's a, it, it's a bizarre kind of contradiction that, that, that you could actually be in more than one place at a time. I know this has been talked about in terms of quantum physics, in terms of simultaneity uh, but it's also in the early Christian church that uh, part of the uh, the the nature of God is that uh, beyond the Trinity he is everywhere present and fills all things uh, it was I never really I, I, I accepted it never really understood it 
but that seems to be occurring uh, uh, on a more frequent basis where I'm um, uh, more than one person at the same time and it sort of I guess he talks about this whole the issue of Santa Claus how does Santa Claus get around the world at you know all these different houses so they have them going from place to place to place they have basically on um, the sort of radar and the sort of the tracking of Santa from NORAD which is the radar system you have him going from point to point you know it's known as linear travel because you're going from let's say Alaska down to uh, Southern California you see that line they go down they goes across the you know the, the southern United States and goes back up to the North Pole again you know, on the East Coast well that's linear travel in nonlinear travel and this is again in quantum mechanics in, quant in terms of the nature of a singularity is that you're at all the points on the earth at the exact same time in other words what's happened is you've now at the singularity you're now outside of the space-time continuum you're outside of that, 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 that dynamic and so you can be in multiple places at once now I saw the mathematics I did the mathematics uh I saw the, the theology within the church of this nature. It go and in many cases, you accept things because there's enough other things that are true that you've observed. You accept it as, as okay, this is reality, but I haven't experienced it. Well, now I'm starting to experience it. I'm starting to experience it in a situation where, let's say, there's a group of people I can be all the people, aware of all the thoughts, all the actions, or I can be one or two people, or one of, you know, I can be a combination of different people, depending on how the situation goes. And a large chunk of it, again, has to do with my emotions, how I feel, how I feel in one situation as, you know, one, from one perspective to another. That's what I talk about before it. In my notes, I often talk about, I often talk about uh, 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 perspective. That you need to get more than one perspective as you're doing your research. And that's what's going on in my dreams. I'm getting, I have more than one perspective. And you would think there would be, wouldn't be a shift in behavior or perspective if you were the, all these different people and you're still you. Well, why would you have a different perspective? Well, what happens is that because you're seeing through their eyes, the, the, the perspective does indeed change. How you feel about something changes. So now you're in the situation that you have to decide, <laughs> you know that you're the other people, other person, you have to decide what you're going to do. How you're going to react in this situation. Oh. But that's it. I can't film this. There's no way. To, there's no way to vlog or film or log any of it in the green world this year. You know, at this point in time, I, I mean, there might be a point in time where I, I'll be able to figure it out and be able to do some vlogging there. But right now, is this a description of what's happened as of get as I'm getting up and things are starting to get going? I've got my cereal for the morning. This is the uh, rice krispie and uh, corn flakes, uh, frosted flakes. I have uh, I have often have the cereal dry almost like a snack, and that provides my morning meal. So, uh, anyways, uh, I'm at the Yali Vlogs. I'm beginning my YouTube show once again, and um, we'll go through there, we'll go through there and see what happens uh, for the rest of the day. Rest of the day. Oh, almost forgot. It's still Vlogmas. Yep, it's still Vlogmas for me. If Vlogmas here will not end until. Uh, January 19th, officially. But I'll keep it going basically until February 1st. It's going to be the entire winter break. Uh, so, not being said, Happy New Year. Because we will have a second Happy New Year. Uh, because there are two calendars here. There's the we're, This is the solar New Year. And then there's going to be the astronomical New Year. And that's coming up on, uh, I think it's the... I think it's the 13th or the 14th of uh, January, so 
Anyways, uh, see you in the next transition. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University. Open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.